Good morning. This is the Outdoor Artist. I want to give you a quick overview of a cold frame I've built on our deck. For those of you that are familiar with cold frames, this should look fairly familiar. For those of you that aren't, a cold frame is basically a structure, usually temporary, used to help harden off plants that are transitioning from a seedling state inside to the uh, long-term state which is planted outside and in this part of the country we get very cold nights, a uh, fair amount of wind and other things that will knock those seedlings around and make them so they don't grow as well as they could and in fact some cases will kill them so this cold frame uh, fairly simple as most of my designs are you can see that it's uh, put together with recycled materials which I like to do whenever possible. The two panels that you see here are recycled screen doors, sliding screen doors that I have just covered with some uh, clear or semi-clear plastic sheeting. Uh, Tape that together. That was done actually a few years ago and I had some artwork mounted over those, so they've been uh, recycled for this purpose this year. Uh, then it's just uh, basically held together with uh, two by fours laid across the deck, and then some one by sixes. And the one by sixes um, serve two purposes. One is to seal up any gaps, like for instance, there's a gap between the two panels here that this two by six will seal up. And then on the ends, there's some simple uh, blockage structures. This is uh, both made out of cardboard and for each end, and then some a one by six on each end that does two things. One is to help hold that uh, cold frame down because it's going to get windy out here, but also help support that uh, end flap to keep any breezes uh, from uh, going through underneath. During operation, this cold frame will actually be, for the most part, during the day, these panels will just be flipped out or up. I could either be propped up or taken out completely. And the reason for that is um, this. Uh, I'm just going to show you here in a minute. This is about a 60 degree day or so right now, outside temperature. And I'll zoom in here on this thermometer that I've put inside to see if you can see that. Uh, but right now that's reading 112.4 or so inside that cold frame. So that is way too hot for plants, obviously. And I just did that to give you a sense of what happens. And that uh, got up to 120 range, excuse me, 112 range within literally uh, I'd say 10 minutes of closing up the ends and sealing it up a little bit. So when we put our plants in uh, tomorrow, we will uh, keep that open most of the time. Then at night, we'll go ahead and seal that up to keep the cold off. Or if there's a windy day, we can seal most of it and perhaps separate the two panels, allow some air circulation so it doesn't get uh, overheated because we don't want to obviously kill the plants. Uh, once again, like many of the projects I work on, total out-of-pocket cost um, is zero. You may notice these one by sixes are actually left over from the last project I showed you, which was the enclosed garden. Uh, I did purchase a couple one by sixes there and had some leftover stock, so easily recycled those. And that's the same source for these leftover pieces of uh, two by four. Now, before I let you go for today, I did have a couple questions on the enclosed garden uh, below. And a couple people questioned the curves that I put in the um, fascia around the garden. And I wanted to just show you how I did that this is actually a fairly standard technique from building boats. If you ever uh, had to build a boat or enjoyed building a boat or had to do any kind of a complex layout, this is a fairly standard 
technique, so it's nothing new. It is very simple, works very well. Um, so let's assume, and I've got this one set up here, uh, let's assume you wanted to put a curve in this uh, one by six that followed roughly this pattern. This is just a piece of half inch PVC piping that I've clamped this end and this end after determining I wanted about that much of a curve. Now if I'd wanted to I could have curved it more or less. In fact for smaller jobs when I want a lot of curve or even multiple S-shaped curves you can use this uh, quarter inch PVC which is almost like a uh, very, well, let's just say it's very flexible to, to uh, run curves with. So all you're doing here is once you get that clamped in place to your liking, you like that curve, you just take your pencil, trace out the curve along the PVC piping, then uh, unclamp that pipe, reclamp your board down in here on each end and maybe slide it out over the edge so you can get a skill saw on that. And then you're just taking a skill saw right down through that um, board and end up with a beautiful uh, curve in uh, literally uh, from start to finish. That's probably a three minute job. So uh, quite simple, quite easy. Just thought I'd pass that along. I had a couple questions on the curves based on that last build that we did of the uh, enclosed garden. Okay, this is your outdoor artist signing off.